Tea's ready. So why are we watching this again? We're watching this, Tim, because every single time I come over, you keep telling me your camera's better than mine. And I know for a fact that this one can beat yours. And this video proves it. So just start the video. All right. Ah, Sydney, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Aspiring filmmakers and photographers flock here every day to get the right shot. But not everybody who comes here has the right skill set to get that perfect shot. Meet James. Just like owning a fast car doesn't make you a race car driver, owning a camera like one of these doesn't make you a born cinematographer. At the end of last decade, 1080p started to become the mainstream. Every single device out there had to have it, from DSLR cameras to smartphones and even handy cams. Everything now had to be in 1080p. So in 2016, is there any advantage to filming on something like this that costs almost five times the price of a smartphone? Well, we're going to find out. But before we get into the video, we first must know which cameras are going to be in the test. So let's start off with my camera, the one that's filmed everything on my channel thus far, and that is the Canon 700D. This camera is a nice mid-range DSLR camera that gives full 1080p quality and also some very nice shots on the side. I use the 18-55mm standard kit lens that comes with it and also the 50mm f1.8 Canon lens when I want to get close-ups. The best camera by far here in terms of price and specs is the Canon 7D Mark II. This camera will set you back almost $3,000 Australian and it is probably one of the best cameras out there today that isn't a full-frame sensor. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this camera, but all you need to know is that it is the top of the line camera in my line of Canon cameras. Next up is one of the cameras that is very asked in the comments section of a friend's channel, Greenham Gaming. This is his camera that has filmed almost every video on the channel and has got him through many great times filming elsewhere. I've used this camera personally to film a lot of his videos and it is one of the best cameras out there and for $300? it's pretty hard to beat. The last camera here may vary from person to person as it is representing the smartphone. The iPhone 6 Plus is the camera chosen for this video. Any phone from 2015 or 2016 probably has the capability to do 1080p video. Well, there's the lineup. So let's get into the first test, which is gonna be a test of quality at max distance. <laughs> Although these are the shots we're looking for, there's not a really big range of colors within the color palette behind us here. There's a lot of blues and a lot of grays, 
but I feel we can do much better. We need somewhere that's more vibrant. We need something that can show off the sensor's capabilities within each device. We need somewhere, like over there, The results to me are of no surprise. The most expensive camera here got the best score with the iPhone and the smallest camera coming in last place. But that does not mean that the smallest camera here is obsolete. All four of these cameras won some form of test or came very close to, and they all have their own ability. The iPhone is a great point and shoot run and gun camera that can be pulled out of your pocket at any situation. The Handycam is very steady and doesn't draw too much of a crowd when you're recording. But if you want the best quality, the DSLRs can't give you much better in terms of 1080p. So how do I sum this video up then? Well, as I said earlier in the video, it doesn't matter what camera you shoot with. If you're somebody who can see the shot, I guarantee you, you'll be able to do it with almost any camera out there today. I'm James Vectra, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh